There are two approaches to creating holes in Onshape. The first method is to create a hole with a sketch and the extrude feature using the Remove tab. The second is to utilize the hole feature. Each method has its advantages and disadvantages. The hole feature places a hole at any selected sketch point, aligning the center of the hole to the point. Acceptable sketch points include independent points, vertices, and center points of circles. Select the sketch from the features list to include all non-construction vertices. You may also utilize implicit and explicit mate connectors to drive the location of holes. To select an implicit mate connector as the center point for the hole, click the Select Mate Connectors icon and select one of the implicit points in the graphics area. Optionally, click the Mate Connector icon in the blue selection field to edit the implicit mate connector further. Click the Merge Scope field to specify which parts should be cut. For example, create a hole for the brake lever pivot. Start a new hole feature from the Feature Toolbar. Select the Metric tab. Three hole type tabs are also available, Simple, Counterbore, and Countersink. Create a simple hole using a drilled hole type. Other hole types include Clearance, Tapped, and PEM. A drilled hole allows you to specify the drill size and edit the diameter when necessary. Clearance, tapped, and PEM holes allow further customization with additional fields respective to each hole type. Set both the start plane and termination of the hole. By default, the hole starts from the part. To specify an alternative starting plane, select Start from Sketch Plane or Start from Selected Plane. As an illustration, let's create some hole cuts on this stepped part. Initially, the sketch lies on the face of the center step. The hole cuts clearly through the first two steps when using Start from Part as the starting option. The last step, however, rises above the sketch plane. In a section view, it is apparent that the feature created the hole, but it doesn't penetrate above the sketch plane. Start from part will only adjust the starting plane in the same direction as the hole. Because the sketch plane already intersects the part, start from part and start from sketch plane have the same results. To illustrate the starting options further, Let's move the sketch to a plane one millimeter above the top step. Now, the simple hole cuts through all three steps. Change the hole type to counterbore with a size of M3 and choose start from part. The hole feature cuts the full outer depth of three millimeters in all three steps. Change the start plane to start from sketch plane. Now, only one of the holes has a counterbore. Upon closer inspection, the depth of the counterbore is less than the full 3 mm that the feature cut when we chose start from part. This is because the sketch plane is 1 mm above the surface of the part. Choose start from selected plane and specify the face of the top step as the whole start plane. The counterbore cuts to the full depth in the top step. In the brake lever, show sketch 1 and select the center point of the large circle as the hole location. Specify a drill size of 14, corresponding to a 14 mm hole. With start from part selected, the hole does not cut through the entire part due to the location of the sketch plane. To resolve this, change the start plane to start from selected plane and choose the outer face. Another approach requires the use of implicit mate connectors. To do so, hide Sketch 1 and click Select Mate Connectors. Then, select the implicit mate connector on the outer face. Since this example has only one part, the merge scope is automatically populated. Finally, set the termination for the hole. Through all cuts the hole through all parts within the merge scope. Blind terminates the hole at a specified dimension. Up to next cuts up to the next face or faces encountered. 
with an optional offset from the whole tip. Reverse the offset by toggling the opposite direction arrow. Up to Entity cuts up to the selected entity, such as a face or a plane. This option ensures the entire diameter is cut up to the entity. If the hole's tip angle style isn't flat, the tip will extend past the selected entity. Offset from tip allows you to edit the hole cut to prevent tip incursion or extend the hole cut. Additionally, the tolerance and precision for the hole callout can be customized by expanding the diameter and depth tolerance controls. More tolerance controls are available for counterbore and countersink holes. One advantage of the hole feature over an extruded cut becomes evident when creating drawings. A hole callout annotation can only be added to a hole created with the hole feature. Hole callouts do not attach to extruded cuts. Another advantage comes into play when placing standard content within assemblies. The auto size function determines the diameter and the thread specification when automatically sizing hardware or fasteners. Auto size cannot detect length or thread length with extrude remove features.